Filter culture kind of came to be for people just to like pick up roadkill and recycle animal remains. A lot of it is just recycling and reusing parts that were either found out in nature or from unavoidable animal deaths. I am Katie Inamorato. I go by Afterlife Anatomy online and I am a taxidermist. In taxidermy, sometimes you will use parts of the bones like toe bones. Certain animals you'll use the skulls, so a lot of birds you'll use those. Birds you also tend to use the wing and the leg bones. Mammals typically you're just using the skin. So a lot of people think that the whole animal is inside of a taxidermy mount, not true at all. The demographic for taxidermy has predominantly been males for the longest time. It does seem like within the last five years or so, more women are becoming either more noted in the taxidermy industry or becoming more involved. I mean, if you look back in the Victorian era, it was technically considered women's fancy work to use birds to, you know, put on hats. Carl Akeley is the guy that's always categorized as like the father of modern day taxidermy. There was actually a woman, Martha Maxwell, who was doing a lot of the stuff that he was doing before he was, and it gets little to no credit. She was making dioramas, like naturalistic dioramas with animals in their own environments before he was doing it. I do think vulture culture has increased in popularity a little bit lately. The internet resurfaced everything and kind of made it a little bit easier for people to be like, okay, maybe what I'm interested in isn't so weird.